Hello everyone, today we are talking about diabetic sweet tooth snacks. You're watching Sugar MD Diabetes Channel. My name is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm a diabetologist, a hormone specialist. Well, we all know from time to time sweet tooth start aching. And you have a decision to make, right? So instead of forcing yourself making that decision between eating or refusing to eat, and most of the time you will end up losing, it may not be a bad idea to be ready when it's time to make a decision or to avoid making a painful decision, right? You can still satisfy your sweet tooth without having to pay this hefty price of high blood sugar. Now, before we get into it, especially if you have seen some of my other videos, guys, and already fell in love with them, please subscribe and give a thumbs up for this video. Again, we have a lot of videos, hundreds of videos that you can learn from. Let's get started. Everyone loves a snack, right? unless you're fasting, intermittent fasting, right? Not all of you. I wouldn't say everyone, but yeah, most people do. Now, sweet snacks are a weakness for a lot of people. Here are some of the options for you. Number one, cocoa dusted almonds or dark chocolate almonds. Well, again, that's not a sponsored video, but Blue Diamond has some good stuff. That brand has oven roasted dark chocolate almonds that only has six gram of net carbs and five gram of protein per serving. These are excellent choice if you were a chocolate lover like myself. Well, uh, the next one is plain Greek yogurt dressed up. Now add some sweetener of your choice. And remember, we have a lot of sweetener videos. If you're not sure which sweetener is best for you, make sure you watch those videos over here. But you can basically, you know, add some sliced almonds on top of your yogurt and some berries and sweetener, as we said, and roughly that's gonna be four grams of net carbs for you and you'll end up getting nine grams of protein as well, and it's gonna curb your hunger. Now, blackberries are a great addition since they are also lower on the glycemic index. And another thing is frozen yogurt can also be a good option for you, and if you pay attention to the added sugars. Now, the best way to do is to try to make a frozen yogurt yourself, and here's the recipe for you. So, it will be also written down in the description. Now, the ingredients are half a cup of Greek yogurt, that's easy to find, right? Better to be full fat. Uh, three tablespoons of heavy cream, four tablespoons of Splenda or your choice of preferred sweetener. I don't like Splenda as much. I think aloes is better or monk fruit. One tablespoon of vanilla and here are the instructions. You place all the ingredients into a small mixing bowl and mix well. Pour into a Ziploc bag and smooth out until the mixture is spread evenly. You can freeze this for 20 to 30 minutes until the mixture is partially frozen. Now cut the corner of the Ziploc bag and squeeze the mixture into two dishes. This has only 126 calories per serving with only less than three grams of carbohydrates. Do you like what you're watching right now? Please write a comment, give a thumbs up and support our channel. Number three. Sugar-free Jello. This dessert has zero grams of carbohydrates and only 10 calories per serving. Try it, it's available everywhere. It's like a lifesaver, you just have some in your fridge and you have a sweet tooth, go grab it. Number four is sugar-free chocolate pudding. Oh my God, that's so good. Only has around 30 calories per serving, just seven grams of carbohydrates, and it's just a chocolatey goodness. And number five in my list is some select fruits such as blackberries. And the sweet berries have only around four grams of net carbs per half a cup. What you can do to make it more interesting is a homemade whip topping for a wonderful treat. Simply beat some heavy cream with a sweetener until it becomes a whip. Whipping cream has only one gram of carbs at the end of the day, right? Now, the next thing is try some protein peanut butter bites. Now, check out the recipe below in the description, but I'll tell you how. These delicious bite-sized snacks are really perfect with only less than two grams of carbs, no sugar, 96 calories per serving. They have six grams of protein as well. This will help you stay full longer and they are great on the go as well. Let's talk about the ingredients first. A cup of peanut butter, that's easy to find, right? It could be even salted, sugar-free, whatever, thick, creamy, whatever you like. Three-fourth of a cup of an unflavored low-carb protein powder. Three-fourth cup of allulose that I prefer for sweetness, can be adjusted if needed. And two tablespoons of vanilla extract. And here are the instructions for you. Now, combine the peanut butter, protein powders, sweetener, and vanilla in a powerful blender 
or a food processor, the mixture should be very dense, but you should be able to press that together. If it is too thin, you can add some more protein powder and or some sweetener to your taste. Now freeze the dough for about 20 minutes to make the mixture firmer and less sticky. You can use a small cookie scoop or a spoon to grab balls of the dough. You can roll into balls, preferably using your cold hands. You can enjoy them right away or you can refrigerate for 20 minutes to make them firmer. So, but keep them refrigerated. And number seven is the dark chocolate. No, I'm not talking about the milk chocolate or white chocolate here, but really dark chocolate. Now, how do you make it interesting? Well, dark chocolate contains a lot of flavonoids, which may reduce the risk of heart disease, as you may have known from my other videos. But uh, dark chocolate contains around just three to 10 grams of net carbs on per ounce, and depending on the brand though. But I would say, you know, the dark chocolate, especially Italian brands, is my favorite. They generally come with some like hazelnuts and stuff like that. And if you only eat one or two, that's really not gonna do a real harm or spike your blood sugar, and you will still get that sweet tooth taken care of. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope uh, this helped you to understand some new ideas, to get some new ideas about your uh, controlling your blood sugar and getting that sweet tooth under control. So thanks again, and I will see you in the next video. Please subscribe, share, and like this video. Talk to you later. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.